I think that I think that we're all inspired by what we need to help us process life. I think we all are creative in different different ways, different modalities. And I think we get inspiration that helps us process our life. I think that's a common theme of people, of humanity. And I think for me, so when I'm inspired, the most inspiration actually comes, I spend every morning 20 minutes or 30 minutes at least in, in prayer and meditation because I have to do that to do what I want to do that day. I have to be in, I have to clear all the debris. And once I do that, I will get music in. And there are things like Butterfly came in when I, when I had that. And the, the Monarchs inspired it. Really, it was when I was letting go of everything and then the purity is there. And it comes to me in, in form of music. You know you're, you're in something that's bigger than you. You know, that's the beauty of what you get to do. When it is at its purest form, when a piece is done, it's something that I think is inspired and comes from outside of you, but you can tap into it. I'm not saying that it cannot be tapped into, but I don't think you can get to it in your head, definitely. You have to get your intuitive senses going. You gotta get quiet and let the good stuff come in. Practice is one of those things that's necessary. If you're going, and, it, and, and, and when you practice and you put that time in consistently, you know that when you perform, you've done everything that you can, everything, and now it's time for God to step in, you know? And that's when miracles happen. That's when you get to enjoy it. It actually is very meditative for me. You know, it, it helps center me. When you are transmuting the inspiration that you've been given, which can be considered prayer, it's definitely in that medium, that's when it's all just delicious and you get to be in that experience that is just amazing. And it's true, as I've practiced for this, I've, I've, I can do better in all areas of my life because you're spinning plates. You're, you're thinking of notes, you're processing, you're doing both parts of your brain together, and it's crazy. This is my favorite record yet. Um, from, from, the, from all aspects, um, she has great songs for this record, new piano, which is absolutely gorgeous. Well, she's a fantastic pianist, composer, person. Um, I really love people that have detail in mind. And it's fair to say in a, in a, in a light and serious fashion that she absolutely knows what she wants. And that's actually a good thing. So you think you've sized me up, huh? <laughs> I have definitely been called a perfectionist, and I think that I have had that tendency for sure. I will, I will own that. Um, but as I have evolved um, through time, I, I realize more that I really enjoy the process of making things better. And that doesn't mean that you're critical. It just means that this is fun, let's tinker with this, let's work on it. Just, that's what it's all about. And it carries over into my own evolution as a person, you know. I think the more that we do that, it carries over into how we express ourselves in whatever creative modality that we do. You know, the common theme I hear from people, from, from fans, are that they like to play my music for their children at night before they go to bed. They like to play it for themselves. It's background and it's a mood setter. And my term for it is what is good for the neurology. For me, the way that I can tell that it is good for the neurology, which means healing, 
is you can play it in the background while you're working and get more done. And that's a joke my husband tells me. He says, when you're playing in the next room, any, even the most horrible task in my office, I can get through. It always settles him down. And, and that's not something I strive for. That's just what my genre is. That's just what I got. And it comes to me in, in form of music.